hi, 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 hi. I'm back, subbies, with your requested video, 50 Random Facts About Me. So, I brought you to one of my favorite gardens, and that's actually the first random fact about me, is that I love gardens. So, I love to bring meals and bring wine and kind of just hang out with either friends or my boyfriend. So yeah, this is one of my favorite gardens. I've been coming here since I was a kid. I love autumn. This is a perfect fall day. This is like the perfect temperature. The sun is still shining. It's nice and cool. There's a beautiful breeze. So this is my favorite time of year. <laughs> so I'm a TV junkie. I turn the TV on as soon as I get home. I sleep with it on. I don't have to actively be watching it. I don't have to really hear what's going on, but I call it the soundtrack of my life because it's always on in the background. And speaking of TV, I am addicted to Discovery ID, that channel. Oh my gosh, I love crime and forensic shows. And I don't know why I'm so addicted. My boyfriend's always asking me, and I don't know, maybe I think I kind of need to think like a criminal to avoid them. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm addicted and I'm gonna keep watching them. Oh, I've never learned how to whistle. <laughs> um, I've tried many times. People have shown me different methods, but they never work for me. And I, just kind of end up making a noise that's nothing like a whistle. I'm a speed demon on the road. I can't help it. I can't stand slow people. I have to get around you. Please get out of my way. I am a Gemini and Gemini's rule. So there's more than one personality in here. And I turned 40 years old this year, May 26th. That is my birth date, my Gemini birth date. And I can't believe I'm 40. Really, I, I really can't. I don't like the taste of alcohol, so unless it's a very well mixed drink and I can't taste the alcohol, I won't drink. Like I said, I turned 40 this year, but this has nothing to do with my age. I've actually had hot flashes for years, and now, fun for me, I get cold flashes right after them. Yay! Not. We're outside, so I've never actually been stung by a bee. So that means I don't know if I'm allergic to them or not. I don't know if this has anything to do with my age, but I am losing my long and short-term memory. I can't remember anything these days. I am actually even losing my vocabulary. How sad is that? Like I, I'm saying sentences and then I can't remember the word that I'm trying to use. It's really strange. Uh, something I'm very proud of. I am a first-generation Haitian American. So my parents are from Haiti. I was born in Washington, DC and raised here in the DMV area. I am a sweets addict, so I can't get enough of sweets. I'm a candy person, I'm a chocolate person, sweets in general. Okay, so I picked this up for my mother. She has the hearing of a dog, super, super sonic hearing. And I have the same things. So I'm hypersensitive to noise. I can't stand it. Um, that's probably why I don't have children. <laughs> And I'm a photographer part-time. I love photography. I do portraiture. I work in the IT field and I'm a gadget girl. A huge gadget girl. And oddly enough, even though I'm a big gadget girl and I'm an IT person, I really don't like math and I'm really lazy about reading. I know, that's not good. My hugest lock idol is Narissa Irving. Oh my God, she is so gorgeous. I'm gonna post some pictures here. so gorgeous her locks are amazing she's been locking her whole life her uh, mother is a Rastafarian and she's a model she's just a huge inspiration her locks are amazing check her out so when I was a little kid I used to think that my brown eyes were lighter brown in the summer and darker brown in the winter and the reason for that is because I got very dark and tan in the summer so my eyes would appear lighter and so I thought they just got lighter you know little kids you don't know any better <laughs> I love to cook but I hate doing dishes yeah I know it's not a good combination huh <laughs> I'm right-handed um, I think lefties are crazy <laughs> they're intelligent but you guys are crazy love you but you're crazy okay my tongue is pierced 
I have one tattoo and it is a butterfly and it's right here in my bosoms, but I'm not going to show you because <laughs> you don't deserve to see that. <laughs> but you get glimpses of it here and there, but that's my one and only tattoo and then I have the one piercing. And if you can't tell from my videos, I love to laugh and I love to make people laugh. I am the youngest child of three girls in my family and I have two brothers who have always lived in Haiti. I've always wanted to play the guitar, but then I don't want to cut my nails. I'm such a girl. I am in love with scary movies. <laughs> and when I've lived alone in my adult life, I tend to freak myself out by watching these movies, but it doesn't stop me from watching them. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, you know I said I'm a sweets person. I am absolutely addicted to sweet tea. I could drink it all day, every day. It's not good for me, but it's an addiction. What, it, what addiction is good for you, right? Uh, my father is a musician, so I was raised listening to all genres of music. So I am a lover of music of every genre. I listen to everything and music is it just motivates me to do anything and everything. I think snow is absolutely beautiful as long as I don't have to go out in it. <laughs> my guilty pleasure is watching reality TV. I skipped the seventh grade. So when I went to middle school, which in this area is seventh and eighth grade, all my friends were in the seventh grade, so it was kind of lonely, but I still skipped the seventh grade. I'm a sap. I'm extremely sensitive, and I will cry at the drop of a hat when I watch a movie, especially if one of the actors starts crying. It just moves me to tears. Case in point, I cried when I went to go see The Lion King. When Mufasa died, I cried. My friends looked at me like I was crazy, but I'm sensitive, what can I say? Now, I don't know if this has anything to do with my age, but these days when I stand up, my knees crack after I've been sitting for a long time. That's not hot. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but I can crack my neck without holding my head. Let me see if you can hear it. I don't know if you heard that or not. If you grossed out, I'm sorry. Earmuffs. Okay, so during the week for work, I wake up at 4.30 a.m. So I start crashing and burning around 8.30 8 p.m. in the evenings. I know it's weird, but... That's my work schedule. I snore really loud when I'm really tired. And when I snore that loud, I always wake myself up so then I don't get a lot of sleep. It's a weird cycle. I'm a very punctual person. I hate being late. So I'd rather be an hour early and sit and wait than to be late. Well, as outgoing as I am, when I'm around a lot of people I don't know, I tend to be a little shy. I still have all my wisdom teeth. Well, when I was growing up, I thought I was the ugly duckling of the family. Like I said, I was the youngest of three girls and my sisters are like beauty queens. And I always thought I was the ugly duckling and I didn't really start appreciating my own beauty until I was an adult in my 30s. Oh, and I'm really short. <laughs> I'm only five foot five, which I guess is an average height, but I always uh, was laboring under the impression that I was five foot seven until I went in for an actual physical and got measured and they said I was five foot five. I'm short. And I mentioned I have a boyfriend. He has locks too. And I am constantly picking out lint and stuff out of his locks. Is that strange? He does that to me too. The women in my family have big feet. They're all a size 10 or above. And I'm the only one that wears an eight and a half and have like the flattest foot ever. <laughs> Oh, even though my family's from the Caribbean, I don't like spicy food. I completely freak out whenever I see a bug in my house. I mean, I absolutely lose it. I don't know, I've been told they're smaller. I mean, I'm bigger than them. They're more afraid of me than I am of them, but absolutely not true because if they're in my house, they're not afraid of me. And once I'm aware of them, they have to die. Like ignorance is bliss, but once I know you're there, you're dead. Uh, I sucked my thumb until I was about 10 years old, hence the gap in my teeth. I'm regretting it now. And the other random fact is that I love making YouTube videos and I love my subbies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video since you requested it and I had a lot of fun making it. I'll actually give you a peek of the garden so you can see why this is one of my favorite gardens. I've been coming here since I was a child. So this is the garden. Um, it's fall so a lot of the vegetation is kind of dead but you get the idea of how pretty and cute it is and then there's a mansion over in the corner that's my favorite tree this big old tree with a thick base and character look how tall it is so beautiful and then the rest of the garden and the grounds there's a lot of space to walk even beyond these um, bushes that you see there's a lot of land out here anyway that's the garden just wanted to share that with you guys hope you like it 
back and I know I have a few more tags to take care of and I will be taking care of those. I also uh, have been approached to do some reviews on some products so that's coming soon as well. I've really missed you guys and I won't be gone too long, I promise. All right, thanks a lot for your support and bye bye